Hey guys, welcome back. So before I begin this vlog, um, I didn't think this would be my intro. I already kind of shot an intro to this vlog, but I felt like since we are eight weeks in, as of now, and I have not gotten a vlog up yet, I felt like I owed it to you to do a little extra intro to explain myself. It's just been really, really busy. I kind of have stepped back from vlog vlogs a little bit. Um, it's been a little bit lower on my priorities list because I'm trying to put other things first that need to be put first, and I'm trying not to just work myself crazy. So the lack of vlogs is due to the busyness, but also due to just my own mental health. So I, I apologize. I do wish I had been able to get more vlogs up um, sooner. But this is what we're working with. So, yeah. I've already started editing this vlog. And as I was editing, I just kind of got hit with a little nostalgia. Like, this is the third time, the third year, I'm doing these vlogs. And if you'll go back to when I first started my freshman year, like, you know how you look back on something and it's just like, oh, I wish I could go back. And it's just super cool to, like, look back on that. And then to look at myself now and like see how far I've come and in three, two or three more years I'm going to be looking back on this right now, seeing myself talking right now and think about how much I've grown since then. This semester and this period in my life, the biggest theme that I'm kind of focusing on a lot is growth. Growing into the person that you're going to become but also realizing that you're just going to continue growing your entire life. You're continuing to learn, you're continuing to um, change and evolve in a way. I think it's a beautiful thing, it's a scary thing, it's a sad thing sometimes, but man, I don't know where I was going with this. Like This is deep thoughts of Darcy. We should have a new segment to the vlog or something. I guess since this is the third year, I don't know, I just wanted to say something. It's not necessarily the last year I'm doing this, but it's definitely getting close to the end. And there won't be college, art college vlogs for much longer. So I just wanted to say thank you for those of you who have stuck by me for so long. And I hope you continue to stick with me and to grow with me and to watch my journey as an artist even after the college years. Um, but definitely thank you for all your support and love during these years as I've been growing as a person and as an artist. And hopefully as an inspiration to you guys and hopefully as a good example to you guys and I wanted to say thank you and I love you and let's get in with this vlog and stop all this sappy stuff so yeah okay <laughs> also I have a studio this year and I forgot to mention that in the actual vlog itself so I just wanted to insert that in here because I'm super excited about it and I hope you guys like it too Okay, enough talking. It's 11.51 p.m. and I have class at 8.30 tomorrow and I have an assignment to do that I have not started. <laughs> painting. So now it just needs to dry. So it has been a bit of a stressful day so far. I had my studio practices class this morning. Being in that class just kind of 
reminded me more that I really need to put more effort into thinking about my art and thinking about what it means and finding my voice in my art. And like I'm also kind of stuck between these two worlds of like wanting to do fine art and I sort of have an interest in the gallery route but it also is really intimidating. And then the other side is like the business side where I focus on my social media, maybe even t-shirts, selling those, making a full business out of those. And I just fall somewhere like in between. I want to do so much and I really am just spreading myself thin. I still don't really know exactly what my future is going to look like and what I want to do with my art. The class this morning just kind of brought that whole issue back to the forefront of my mind and I've been going a little crazy just mulling it over today and talking about it with people and planning what I need to do moving forward. So um, a lot of stuff has been going on in my mind today. If I could just focus on my art for class and developing my work and my style, it would be a lot easier. But I also need to make money at the same time and I need to keep up with my social media and I need to keep up with commissions and orders. <laughs> taking a walk just to get some exercise in. I know I've mostly been at the studio this week, but that's because that's where all the action is taking place, all the art and stuff. However, tonight I did bring back this piece to work on um, next week on Wednesday. I don't remember if I mentioned this already, but we have a critique and we have to have a finished piece for that. So I'm gonna have to buy a frame and everything if I do this piece, um, but I have to finish it first. <laughs> Can I borrow some of your time? Yeah. You realize you have a whole fan club on my YouTube channel now, do you, don't you? <laughs> a whole fan club? We gotta give the people what they want. <laughs> oh no. It's Steven. <laughs> but yeah, do you want to tell the people a little bit about yourself? I'm an artist. I study art. <laughs> I make things. 
and painting. Bye. <laughs> so it's almost uh, midnight. And I just wanted to come on here to say that today was a really good day, primarily because I got to watch my last Austria vlog with all the people that went with me on the Austria trip. It was just really, really cool to relive those memories with them. Also today, I went to Michael's and I got a frame for this picture because on Wednesday we're going to have a critique. finished with a night at the studio. I worked on a shirt painting tonight and also I got two little like experimentive paintings done. So the reason I'm doing so many shirt paintings right now is because I'm going to have a market at my school coming up in October um, like I had last year if you guys remember and I'm going to be selling more shirt paintings, record paintings, stuff like that. So that's why I'm trying to get those done as soon as possible. I am going to put these shoes in a box and get them ready to mail off hopefully tomorrow to the dude who ordered them I'm going to be wrapping them in tissue paper, parchment paper, whatever works um, it should be fine even without being wrapped but I just want to be extra careful um, and treat them well <laughs> I was wooden, you were sweet and I was the cream You were calm, I was bitter, raw So that train was out for me In the cold of the winter In that blistering summer heat I was gone, nowhere to be found you were trapped in a slumber I was lost amongst the clouds With the rain pouring under You were round with a shovel In the desperate sinking mud I was bathing in 